Hey, if you're working on financial projections for a professional services firm, maybe to launch the firm or even just to, um, to, to get a loan or maybe even a potential investment to help you grow and expand, uh, then you've come to the right place because we have built a financial projection template built specifically for professional services firms. So what do I mean by that? Uh, this template's really good for uh, the, the following types of companies, uh, digital marketing agencies, uh, accounting firms, law firms, uh, engineering firms, architects, um, these sorts of businesses where you have professionals that are uh, billing on projects on a, on a per hour basis, typically, um, you know, but the, the billing could be uh, for the customers could be on a retainer basis. It could be a per project basis it can get kind of complicated. And so we have built a template that really works uh, to, to facilitate projecting um, what, what the business is going to look like for all these different types of professional services uh, businesses. And today I'm going to dive into this uh, template. I'm also going to show you a couple of variations that we've built and um, we're going to link to our professional services template in the description of the video below. So if you want to go grab that template uh, and then follow along, uh, you could do that as well. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you here is our uh, profit and loss at a glance tab. You'll be able to see after we get all of this work done, creating your projections, you'll be able to see what, what you're going to um, end up with here. So. Uh, a number of um, summary data points, as well as your projected uh, income statement. You'll see a number of graphs. I'll move over here, graphs and tables, um, some cash generated from operating activities. You can see some seasonality built into this particular model. Uh, you've got um, startup funds required and use of funds in a graph as well. And then a number of key performance indicators um, you know, like labor staff count uh, in terms of annual revenue per staff member as well are key numbers that you want to keep an eye on. And so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, also just show you our uh, projected income statement that you'll get. So you get a five-year projected income statement, cash flow, and balance sheet on an annual basis. But you'll also get that income, cash flow, and balance sheet on a monthly basis as well. Now let's jump back to the beginning here and I'll show you how we fill this out. So uh, first thing you need to know, any cell that's highlighted in blue is an assumption that you can change without breaking anything in the template. And so um, we're gonna have our professional services firm here. We're gonna say that personal investment, I'm gonna put in $100,000 to start this business. We've got some leasehold improvements for an office, perhaps that we're renting $60,000 in leasehold improvements, some employee equipment and computers that we're adding. And maybe we're also getting an SBA loan for some working capital uh, for $100,000 as well. Let's get to the input revenue tab. So this is, um, we've kind of filled this out based on uh, a potential accounting firm. So I'm going to show you that example first. So let's say we have a few partners here. We um, say, when are those partners going to be added to the firm, basically? So maybe it's just you to start with. You're going to add another partner in month 15 and another in month 30. You've got base salaries, as well as a commission or a percentage of revenue commission that they get paid as well. And then the maximum number of regular clients that each partner can take. And then non-recurring services performed. Uh, per partner or per month. Then you also have your different staff, so staff level one and two and that sort of thing. And you can add different quantities of staff members, what month they start in, their annual base salary, and again, a, a kind of a commission percentage here and how many clients they can handle. And uh, so that's kind of like building out our staffing bucket. Now we got to figure out how do we actually acquire clients and what does that look like? So we have our current regular clients. We, we're saying we have 50 regular clients. We're doing some advertising work and we are, uh, cost us 250 bucks to acquire new customers. So we're uh, acquiring two new customers a month at this rate. And this ad spend, we're going to bump up that ad spend to a thousand a month in month six. 
then we get some new clients each month from other sources, so word of mouth, that sort of thing. So we've got our new clients. We also have an annual churn rate, so of course we're going to lose some clients every year as well. So we're saying we're losing 30% of our clients each year as well. Now we get into our services. So what services do we perform? We're saying monthly bookkeeping, and annual tax filings. We're saying 30% of our customers uh, come to us for monthly bookkeeping. 80% of our customers use us for annual tax filings. We can pick the frequency of the service, annual or monthly, the revenue associated with that, and then the direct cost of the service. This is outside of the cost of the staffing to complete the work. And then here we're saying, okay, it's going to start in month three. This work is all starting in month three and ending in month four. So it's like, here's our annual tax filing revenue. It all happens within a couple months, you know. Um, and so uh, that's where we're going to see that seasonality kick in on the revenue side. And then you can add different monthly services um, and annual services as well. And that's going to help you uh, predict your recurring um, services revenue and direct costs. Now we have the ability to add non-recurring services as well. And then even product sales, if you know, probably an accounting firm not selling products, but uh, if, if you are a professional services firm that you also sell some products, you have the ability to add those in here as well. We have some most of this is just calculation, showing you different breakdowns of the calculations. Now here's some cash flow assumptions. So um, we we need to know uh, if clients are prepaying for for work. Um, that can make a big difference on the cash flow. So let's say prepayments um, happen on average three months before the service. Delayed payments happen on average one month after the service. And here we fill out, okay, uh, for our recurring services, what percentage of payments are made prior to the service? So for monthly bookkeeping, what percentage is paid prior to the service? We're saying zero. But for our non-recurring services, so these might be one-off projects that the accounting firm is doing for you, um, maybe doing some tax planning work or some sort of setting up a, a trust or I don't know, uh, doing some sort of work for you. Um, these non-recurring service items, maybe they ask for 50% up front or you ask for 50% up front. So um, that's where that would come in. The same thing with product sales. You also have the ability to add in a retainer. And then we can also look at adding revenue share uh, for the employees or for the partners that can be paid out um, on some regular basis. And you can select that here. So there's a lot of detail here, and uh, I'm going to just jump over to a couple different variations. And if, if you end up uh, buying the template, we're going to save uh, these variations in the same folder so you'd get access to kind of the generic professional services template, but you'd also get access to a marketing agency template and, and our law firm template. And really, all we've done is just tried to pre-fill those templates out differently um, so in this example, you know, you still see we have we have partners in the marketing agency, but we also have Google Ad specialists, SEO specialists, and designers uh, that we've added in. Instead of doing bookkeeping, we're doing Google Ads management, and SEO management, and design work for customers on a monthly basis with a, a revenue per month that we expect. And I'll just jump over to the law firm. You can see we've filled that out as well. Similarly, you can have partners, staff attorney, paralegals, and then what kind of legal services are you providing? Are you doing contract law? Maybe you're doing patent law. Maybe you have one partner that focuses on patents, one that focuses on contracts, different kind of sections of the law. Um, and then you can just have other monthly or annual services that you provide or one-off non-recurring services as well. So you can have your non-recurring legal services here as well. So lots of flexibility with this template, also a lot of detail we realize. And so uh, if you need help filling this out, making it work for your particular model and firm, 
uh, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com. We also have uh, our CPA on staff who built this template who can help walk you through um, customizing the model for your specific situation. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the last couple tabs here. Uh, actually, let me jump back to professional services tab. And a couple things I want to point out on this expense. You can, um, you can add expenses as a fixed monthly amount or as a percentage of revenue. So if you want to say, okay, we charge um, or we get charged by credit card processing company, a transaction fee for credit card processing of 2% of our total revenue. So that may be the type of thing you'd have there. All right, now um, we've already added staff for like our billable staff, right? But we also may have kind of our overhead um, or admin staff, so receptionists or assistants, or you know, even um, you may have a, a controller for the firm uh, that's not doing billable work for the customer, but it's working internally. That type of salary could be listed in this section. And that really brings us full circle back to our uh, at a glance tab. And again, if you have questions um, about uh, will this work for a particular type of services company, please uh, leave a comment in the YouTube comments section below and we can uh, tell whether it should work for your specific situation or you can reach out to us directly at support at projectionhub.com and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.